Indie Mogul. Hey guys, Zach Finfrock here for BFX, where we show you how to make Hollywood props and special effects for a not so Hollywood budget. Speaking of Hollywood, today's effect is straight out of the new movie, Jonah Hex, The Dynamite Gun. Jonah Hex. He uses a gun that I'm calling the dynamite gun. It's a combo pistol crossbow that shoots sticks of dynamite. Here's what it looks like from the trailer. A Hollywood effects guru probably put hundreds if not over a thousand dollars into this one effect. I'm gonna spend less than twenty dollars on it. Obviously if you want to spend more money on this prop or any prop for that matter feel free to do it. But it's my personal goal for BFX to do every single build for as cheap as possible while still making it look and work great. Sorry Pope Zach, no wheel today. I already said less than 20 bucks. You suck. Toy revolver, toy crossbow, small box, poster board, razor pens, hot glue, spray paint, and a Dremel. This build's difficulty level is... Or... Simple time lapse! Woo! First, if your gun is like the one I bought, and it has a spark maker inside, you need to open up the gun and make sure you disassemble the spark maker itself. You don't want the gun itself to catch on fire. Next, you need to cut off the barrel of the gun so it's just the handle, trigger, and body of the gun itself. Next, you need to take the small box that will be used as the main body of the gun. From the looks of the trailer, this is what holds multiple sticks of dynamite. Since my box had all the designs on the sides of it, I covered it with poster board. This isn't only because of the designs on the sides, this also strengthens the box itself. Now, take the bow from the toy crossbow and glue it onto one side of the box. Now I don't expect anyone to find a crossbow toy like I did. That was kind of a perfect timing type thing in my situation. If you can't find anything like that, a toy bow and arrow set works just the same, or even a Tupperware top. You can bend, all you gotta do is cut a strip, tie rope on both ends, and it works just the same. I found a ring piece of PVC, and I added it to the top of the bow for holding the dynamite. Next, you need to cut the hole on the opposite side of the box to fit the gun handle into. After that, you need to cut the little corner pieces out of poster board that will be painted to look like metal. At this point, I also cut the side and handle decor pieces for the gun itself. Now for the paint. I painted the gun and dynamite box both black and the metal pieces silver. Then I took a crumbled piece of paper towel and wiped brown paint on the box and gun, giving the illusion of wood. I did the same crumpled paper towel effect with black on the metal to make the metal itself look worn and old. Finally, you need to glue the whole thing together. Don't forget to make a small piece of dynamite out of red poster board. Jonah Hex Dynamite Gun. Now it's really easy to mod this for a steampunk style thing. All you gotta do is put copper pipes, a gauge on the side, just change the colors up a bit, and it's more Wild Wild West style than it is Jonah Hex after that. You ready to do this? As I'll ever be, partner. What kind of piece you got? Smith & Wesson 357. I got the dynamite gun. What? What is that? Are you serious? Yeah. There, there's no, no. A dynamite launcher? Really? Better get it running, boy. Judge! Don't see any rule about what kind of gun you can use. Kinda wanna see how this one plays out. One!
No, this isn't an actual functioning crossbow, but as you saw in our test film, with trick shooting and editing, fishing line pulling that out, and someone throwing it at the other person, it worked just as well. Let me know what you thought of this build in the comments below. Keep in mind to put your request, anything like that, down there as well. And I'll see you next week. One, two, three. I'm so screwed. I'm, I'm not even gonna shoot. I'm just gonna turn around and just get.